Well, welcome back. Um, nice new project. Got this fantastic 3D printed motor mount for the genteel lady. So today, uh, I would say any electronics experts or specialists in soldering, I would look away now. <laughs> so um, I've got a box of bits which I shall talk about as we go along. And uh, the first thing we need to do is I'm going to put this motor which is a, um, I got it from hobby.co.uk hobby and it's an X-King FPV motor. It's um, 1404-46,000 kilovolts, one of these. So the first thing we're going to do is we will be mounting the motor to this blank making sure we get it round in the right orientation because we need some up thrust uh, so I'm just going to bolt I'm just going to make sure I've got a nice good fit here and then we are going to bolt the motor to the mount right oh Christ right there you go I have just bolted to the frame and remember we're looking for up thrust so you'll notice how I've got that orientated and just to be on the safe side using one of these very fine tips from Angel Wing Designs I have just thread locked mine whether that's right or not I don't know but um, just to be on the safe side uh, so the next thing I'm going to do is um, we're just going to uh, now could hot glue this in place uh, but at the moment I am going to medium cyano mine let me show you at that angle bearing in mind this is a development pod so this might change but um so If you don't see any difference, and if you go on the Angel Wing Designs um, Facebook page, uh, go and subscribe to that. And um, if you want to see if there are any changes, but we think that's pretty close, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go for it. I could use hot glue to change it, but I think I'm gonna medium sign over that in place, making sure it's all lined up and square. That's the up thrust that I've got. Remember, we're going that way, so it's up thrust. It might be pointing down, but it's driving the thrust up right next thing I've done so the motor mount is on just make sure look down as well that you've got it lined up through the center uh, like mine is and the other thing I've now done is uh, don't use a drill um, I've just used this small uh, it's actually an ex-dental burr because that's my previous background so I'm quite lucky but one of these little milling birds um, and I've just drilled a hole through the pylon like so it means that you can then tidy up the wires because what you don't want is these flapping them out if you wanted to you could just hot glue them to the side but I just think it looks uh, uh, neater so we're going to feed those through and the next thing I'm going to do is um, sort out my connections because the idea is what we want to be able to do is make this plug in so that if you go flying and it's light winds and you want to use your motor mount then if it gets a little bit breezier or if you're on the slope or you just want to go slope flying you can just unplug it and so at any stage it makes it nice and portable and the battery in the receiver and the speed controller just carries on doing its job you can drop this in and out whenever you like so top tip here so you don't end up with about 14 feet of spaghetti um, I've actually just sat my motor mount where, just about where it's going to go and then I've then planned to cut the wires so I've got just enough on either end because um, what you don't want, um, I ended up cutting about that much off the motor wires because it glitches everywhere. So that's what I've done is I've just put all my put my receiver in, put the speed controller in, I had a good look around and thought well actually do I, can I save some space here it's you could poke all the wire in as is but if you want to do a real nice pro installation then perhaps you can just do a little bit of shortening of wires right so i've put my little quick click click quick, quick clip on one end 
I fed my wires through. Now, I've already looked at the prop, and when you look at the prop, obviously it's a tractor prop, so it needs to be spinning this way, which is anti-clockwise. My advice, do not check the orientation of your motor with your prop on. One of my mates has had a very serious injury very, very recently, and it's very, very easy to do. So my advice is we know it's got to be spinning clockwise, so we've got that off, so we're less likely to hurt ourselves. Because this particular propeller, God, I'm having trouble with my words today. I'll give me money back on my teeth, I think. Um, these are a plug-on anyway. So all I'm going to do now is I'm just, you've got your um, the other half, which is the male bit of the connectors. I've got these here. I'm now going to mount these on and I'm going to have a little go. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm, if I can, I'm going to see if I can feed these in without connecting it to this, just to check the orientation first. I'll let you know how I get on. So there we are, that's my module with my quick link. Um, important safety tip this, and everybody flying RC should always do the same thing. When you're applying power to any plane or any jet, any drone, Always make sure that you've got your transmitter switched on first and you have the, I mean I've got an alarm on my transmitter to tell me if the throttle is set or is out of the neutral position or the off position. So switch your transmitter on first, make sure that your throttle stick is down and you've got it orientated properly. Then you then switch the plane on. So she's all ready to go. I'm just going to assemble it and I'll give you a demo. Right, there she is. Um, Using that battery has not made any difference to my C of G, which is quite remarkable. So, um, like, top tip. Now, I don't recommend doing this inside your cabin, because if something breaks loose, it's going to shape around. But just to show you, plenty of power. And uh, one top tip, like I said before, switch the transmitter on first, throttle is shut, then switch the plane on, and use beefy. Uh, bands because if not you'll find it will lift up at the back but I've got three bands on there they're quite thick set as you can see so it's currently raining outside at the moment but um, I'm looking forward to uh, getting out and trying this bad boy or oh, sorry this young lady